So we finished last week's video um, with Alla talking about her dad. Have there been any developments on that? Um, she hasn't mentioned anything. I think with the letter that she got regarding her dad, I think she tried the number a few times, but she hasn't managed to get through. So I don't think she's really heard anything more. And how's your week been? Um, okay, I've been um, looking for childcare for Cody for when I go back to work, because I'm looking to go back to work. This is the local nursery, it's just down the bottom of my street, so it'd be very good for him to come to this nursery, very convenient. And I've heard that it's a really good nursery as well, which is positive. I'm just going to have a look around a bit today. <coughs> Our garden at the back. Uh, we're really lucky to have such a fantastic space out here. We had the, um, the garden developed over this year, so lots of new things have gone in so far. So. It's very big. Yeah, this building used to be Beaconhead Family Centre for 10 years, and then we took it over as the Cedars Neighbourhood Nursery in October of 2004. So it's it's grown with the community for quite a few years. Um, but they've done so much with them. I mean, we got a grant from our Devon partnership and. We've done so much with the garden, we've put the slide in, we've got a lovely sand pit over there which the children adore, they Aww. just spend so much time in the sand pit, <laughs> and all the parks, balancing beams, and the pathways that they can ride the bikes on, and we've also got our rabbit and our guinea pig as well, called Benji and Lola, who are in the run over there I think, but the children have really enjoyed taking care of them and feeding them, and, and looking after them. clean them out? And yeah, they help to clean them out, and... And the garden's a really big thing for the children. They love to come out here and water the plants. In. And we do spend an awful lot of time outside. I'm looking for a job and somewhere to put my 19 month old. Right, okay. Lovely. Do you think this is the sort of environment that he would be happy in? Oh, yeah, yeah. And he'd love it. Especially the garden. He doesn't have a garden at home. He's living in a flat. And he just loves it. Outdoors. We have got spaces, but not until he, when is when is his second birthday in February? Um, because our baby room is quite full at the moment, we haven't got any spaces in the baby group, but we have right. got spaces in the toddler group for when he's two, if he would be interested. Okay, and is, it, is, is allow, am I allowed to like book that space for when he's two? Absolutely, yeah. If you just take this, um, this is our registration form, and if you just fill in your contact details and tick which sessions that you'd like, right. and then we can put him on our register for when he's two. I think probably my best bet would be to go with a childminder okay until he's two and yeah. there's childminders in there really. yeah there is and sure start got a childminder buddy as well that can put okay. you on to childminders in the area who are trained by us so um so there's a bank of, of people that if you wanted to contact anybody log on next week to see abby and anna discuss the housing issue as they meet a local council officer and question them about the state of accommodation for single parents